14 deep sea monsters. Number 14, Stargazer. With eyes like that sticking out of the water, this is something you really don't want to walk into on the beach. These fish bury themselves into the sand and jump up to capture prey when it swims by. The sand camouflages them and makes unsuspecting fish their lunch. In case that wasn't enough, this thing can deliver lethal shocks. Number 13, Chimera. Not to be confused with a goblin shark, these deep water sea creatures are also known as ghost sharks and are a rare find if you ever come across one. The spine on the back near the dorsal fin is venomous. His oldest relative is the shark, but they branched off nearly 400 million years ago. They lack the sharp teeth that sharks have and only have three pairs of grinding teeth plates. They have been spotted off the coast of Greenland and prefer colder waters. Number 12, the Dumbo Elephant. We've seen a few other scarier octopuses. This one here might look something like you'd find in a Finding Nemo film, but still somewhat shocking to say the least. They can be spotted off the South American coast, but also live in waters near New Zealand, Philippines, and even Oregon. The brain is wrapped around the esophagus, so if they swallow anything too big, their brains might literally explode. In this photo, the tentacles are hidden, and he's actually sitting on top of them. Their natural predators include sharks, tunas, and killer whales. Number 11, the gulper eel. This is most likely one of the most bizarre sea creatures you'll ever run into, and is nicknamed the pelican eel because of the shape of its mouth. It's rarely seen by humans, considering how deep it can go in the water. Its large mouth is much wider than its body, and the hinged jaws allow it to swallow prey much larger than itself. The stomach can expand to accommodate large fish, squid, and even crustaceans. The tiny teeth don't serve much of a role in digestion, but they sure do make this thing look more creepy. Number 10, Snaggletooth Dragonfish. Ever run into someone who's got kind of a snaggletooth thing going on? And they might seem a tad odd or scary? This thing may only be about the size of the tip of your index finger, as you can see in this photo, but the look in its eyes is certainly enough to make you want to stay away from the coast of Australia. Dragonfish tend to live deeper in the ocean, which would make them difficult to come across, but why take the risk? For being about the size of a tadpole, these things have some serious chompers. Number 9, the Grenadier. These are some of the more common bottom dwellers you'll come across if you're exploring the deep seas. If you're able to get yourself a submarine that can go 6 kilometers below the surface of the ocean, possibly you'll spot one. It's believed that they can make up 15% of deep life below. They tend to live near colder waters such as nearby Antarctica and the North Pole. The younger fish tend to stay in shallower waters and as they age they tend to move more further below the surface of the ocean. Number 8, Blue Ringed Octopus. Even though it might sort of look pretty cool and not quite as intimidating as the others, the Blue Ringed Octopus is not something you want to mess with. This deep sea creature is extremely venomous and there is no cure if you do get stung. It contains the same deadly poison that puffer fish contain known as tetrododoxin. There is no anti-venom for this, so once you're stung, game over. It can be noticed by its blue and black rings. They can hunt small prey such as crabs, hermit crabs, and shrimp. The sharp beak can pierce through hard crab shell. Number 7, the fang tooth. What's scarier than a snaggle tooth? How about a fang tooth? Why does everything at the bottom of the ocean have to be either extremely deadly or look like it belongs in the pits of hell? It doesn't get its name for nothing either. The teeth are proportionally the largest of any fish in the ocean. Don't always judge a book by its cover though. Although these guys look fierce and dangerous, they're completely harmless to humans. They're found around 16,000 feet below water, but are more commonly spotted around 700 feet. Number 6, the Viper Fish. It almost looks like a normal fish until you look at its teeth. Then you realize this thing must live at the bottom of the ocean. It's noticeable by its snake-like body and sharp needle teeth. These fish can grow to be about 2 feet long and are certainly found at the deep depths of the ocean. They can go as low as 5,000 feet but prefer shallower depths at night. The colors may vary depending on what region they choose as their habitat, such as green, silver, and black. The fang-like teeth paralyzes the victims and enjoy eating lanternfish and bristle mouse. Number 5, Sarcastic Fringe Head. This strange looking thing scares off predators by opening its large, colorful mouth. When two territorial sarcastic fringe head fish meet, they sort of end up fighting each other with their mouths, almost like they're kissing. They grow up to be about a foot long and live on the bottom of the western pacific, going about as deep as 240 feet. Number 4, the vampire squid. What sounds more vicious than a vampire squid? This is a small deep sea cephalopod found at the bottom of tropical oceans. 
and almost seems like a hybrid between an octopus and a squid. It grows to a maximum length of 12 inches and varies in color from jet black to pale red depending on color. But the most terrifying thing about this squid is its bizarre appearance. It doesn't have ink like most squid and can emit a cloud of glowing sticky mucus. They are one of the few squid who don't eat live animals and rely on a source of food known as marine snow. This is basically dead plankton and fecal matter of other fish. Number 3. Giant Isopods Although these giant isopods do resemble bugs or cockroaches, which are pretty creepy, they are actually extremely large crustaceans who can grow about two and a half feet in length. Besides haunting your nightmares, these are found at the bottom of the ocean and are rather harmless. They're mostly scavengers who eat fish already who died from natural causes. Others believe that they do eat animals like sponges from time to time. One giant isopod in Japan went five years without one bite of food. Incredible, but they do enjoy a large meal after they eat. Scientists aren't exactly sure why these things get so large, but it's believed that the huge size and shells have helped them survive the enormous amount of pressure found at the bottom of the ocean. Would anyone consider eating this thing for lunch? Number 2. Helicoprion So luckily this thing isn't still in our oceans, but it's an extremely unusual shark that swam the seas over 290 million years ago. So what's so bizarre about this species? It has spiraling teeth which are not known from any other species of fish or vertebrate that we know of. Fossils of this creature have puzzled paleontologists and leave many scratching their heads. How did these spiral teeth actually fit in the jaws of the Helicoprion? This giant sea monster grew about 18 to 20 feet long. Researchers from Russia claim that the jaw curled upwards towards the shark's mouth. Number 1. Giant Squids Giant squids are out there, and it's possible that there's more of them than we might think. One was discovered on a beach in Spain and there has been live footage of ones by researchers in Japan in 2004. They are believed to be about 440 feet long. Giant squids and their cousins, the colossal squids, have the largest known eyeball in the entire animal kingdom, measuring about 10 inches in diameter. That's about the size of a dinner plate staring at you directly in the eye. They have a total of 8 tentacles and 2 feeding arms which allows them to put food in their giant beaks. Any suggestions on future videos you'd like to see? Leave a message in the comment section with your idea and maybe we'll feature it in the next video.